Hi everybody, welcome to Art with Miss B. Today, I'm really excited because we have a special guest in the art studio. This is my friend, Ozzy. Ozzy is an eight month old African pygmy hedgehog. Ozzy is nocturnal, which means he sleeps all day and parties all night. <laughs> Ozzy lives in the suburbs, but originally hedgehogs are from Africa, the African savanna. There they are insectivores, which means that they eat insects of all kinds. But Ozzy mostly eats cat food. <laughs> That's his favorite thing. Ozzy is eight months old, but they live to be about 10 years old in captivity and about five years old in the wild. The most distinctive thing about Ozzy are his sharp quills that cover his whole body for protection. His quills are sharper and harder than a porcupine's quills and they protect him from predators. Why would I bring a hedgehog to art class? Well, today we're going to talk about texture. Texture is how something feels when you touch it. If you touch the bottom of your shoe, it feels bumpy. If you were to touch a little baby kitten, it would feel fuzzy. And if you touched a snake, it would feel scaly. When you look at him, you can imagine what it would feel like to touch his spikes. And they're really hard. Sometimes they even hurt. In art, there are two kinds of texture. There's actual texture when you can feel something and it really feels that way. For instance, if you were to touch Ozzy, he would really feel bumpy. But there's also visual texture. Visual texture is when artists make it look like there's a texture. So we're going to draw Ozzy today and we're going to draw his spikes. And when you look at it, you can imagine what it feels like even though the paper is smooth. Ozzy is not happy about me holding him, but he's so cute, I wanted to show you guys. Let's start today by drawing a small circle for our hedgehog's nose. And then we're going to draw a curved line up for the head. Now we're going to draw the bottom of the hedgehog. Using a zigzag line, we're going to start drawing the texture of the hedgehog's quills. It's almost like the letter V over and over again. A curved line for the hedgehog's little face and a circle for his eye. And now he needs some little hedgehog feet. I want to add even more texture, so I'm going to fill his body with little V spikes. Notice some of them are big and some of them are small, and I'm filling the whole space with spikes. We can even create texture when we draw the blades of grass. Notice I'm using the same sort of shape as I did for the hedgehog's quills. Don't forget to color it in. Hedgehogs? I mean, why can't they just share the hedge? 
wanted to show you a slightly different way of drawing the hedgehog. Again, let's start with the nose and the curved line up for his head. But instead of adding the spikes, let's keep going. Now we're gonna draw the bottom of the hedgehog. And did you know they have a little tail? Now let's draw the hedgehog's face and a circle for his eye. His cute little feet. I think I'm gonna add an ear on this one to see how it looks. This time, I'm going to use crayons to make the texture. Notice I'm drawing the quills using all different colors of crayons. I'm even using crayons to make the texture of the grass. Thanks for joining me for Art with Miss V. I'll see you next time.